Okay, so let's talk about content ideas. And because there's so many ideas, I just plopped them all down on paper and I thought we'd kind of go through the list uh, and I'll also put a list uh, link in the description so that you guys can also download this list and look at it as well. So some content ideas um, for a little behind the scenes is how to use your product. Let people know how to use your product in everyday life and maybe some of the not so common ways that people can use your product. So then that sparks new ideas and people are like, oh, I've never thought about using it that way. Um, how your product is made, especially if you are a crafty store or it's just something that people have never really thought about how that's made or where it comes from that's a great one to do show your expertise you are a pro in whatever you are doing and show that build trust with people give them some credibility so that they understand you and they trust you more and then they want to come to you for advice and they want to buy your product because they know it's tested and they trust it um if you're in a service job I have people only normally see the end result. Show them the process, show them the other things that you do that makes it an entire business. Um, people tend to forget about the background things and so it's really cool to show them your entire process or maybe not everything, but show them some parts of behind the scenes of what you do. Um, for giveaways, um, some ideas when you're doing giveaways is make sure that other people are tagging to like participate in the giveaway, sorry, get those participants to tag other people. Um, you can do it um, one tag per comment and then that shows Instagram that people are really engaging in your content because they're putting so many comments um, and when they're tagging people that's showing those other people your content and brings them to their page um, and if you put in it that they must follow you for your giveaway then you'll get a lot more follows and normally after you will lose a bunch of those follows because they were just there for the giveaway but some people who actually will use your con your product or your service or anything of that, um, will see it and will engage and then they'll be like, oh, I never even knew of this place, how cool. Um, one of the really important things with Instagram is saving a post because saving shows that your content is so valuable to the, to the viewer that they even wanna go back and look at it again. So you could put it as one of the things that they need to do to participate in the giveaway is to save your post. Um, and then always, if you ask them to share the post in their stories for extra points, make sure that you're letting them uh, know that they need to tag you in it or else you can't actually see if they've shared it or not. Um, so then you're not actually gonna give them those extra entries. So just some little tidbits. Um, some other things that you can do are meet the team. Um, that also builds trust and makes people feel more personable to your team. Um, and also, yeah, just builds that credibility and that trust. Um, and you could do stuff like questions. You could ask them their favorite of your product and then you can do more things about that product. Um, or if you are a clothing brand or jewelry, say, what would you like to see together? Let's build an outfit together. Different ideas like that or help me create or make this drink or help me make this dish. What should we put on it? Different things like that um, to engage people and get them feeling more involved. Um, and what's really cool is you can use Instagram or Facebook or any social media as a testing ground for new products and, and new things, services that you're wanting to bring out. Um, put a question, hey, is this a yay or a nay to you? Um, would you be interested in this product? Should I order more of these? Um, they'll tell you, they'll give you an honest answer. So you can kind of use it as a testing ground to see if something's going to fly or not, which is kind of a really cool tool to use. Um, okay, so here's a list. It says 70 killer content ideas. I'm not going to list all 70, but let's go through a few. Um, yeah, share a joke. You can do this over graphics or text. text. Um, share a quote. Um, give people the history. How did you start this? Um, give them a little story that they can believe in, that they connect with you, that they feel more personable, but let them put themselves in your shoes and then they'll believe in you more and believe in your store um, just that much more that they are passionate about it just as much as you are, or maybe not just as much, but they, it'll, it'll share that passion with them. Uh, again, post a how-to or a tutorial, post a, a poll, 
um, share your favorite book, your favorite dish, your favorite, anything that's your favorite, even if you don't sell it, just get them to know you more and build that trust. The, the difference between a big box store and a local store is you, the owner or the team that's a part of it. The people that put in the passion and put in the care to actually care about the customers coming in, that's a huge thing. And so they wanna to get to know you as well and why they should support you. So even just sharing your favorite thing really builds that trust and they can be like, oh, I totally disagree. Like I hate pineapple on pizza. Or they'll be like, oh my gosh, I totally love pineapple on pizza. No way, I'm allergic. So don't put pineapple on my pizza. Um, you can do post sneak peeks of things that are coming, um, share other people's blog posts um, that you enjoy that could relate to your business or not. Just something that you find very interesting. Um, share other people's content, the other local businesses in the area, give them shout outs and maybe they'll give you a shout out as well. Just expand your customer base to each other. Um, answer some frequently asked questions. Um, host an interview, interview some of the people or interview, um, yeah, like a customer that comes in all the time that uses their, uses your stuff, get them to share about it. Um, exactly. You could do testimonials kind of like that as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, share a success story. So these are just some ideas of some content that you could be posting.